Good morning. How are you all? I'm back again. I hope you all are having a great time at home. And I know my all children are very very smart. They are not wasting time at home. As I have told you that you not you do not have to waste your time at home. What you have to do? Can anyone tell me? You have to do some useful things. Yes, I told you. Yes, you have to do some useful things by uh, by staying at home. You should not watch cartoons all the day. You should not watch TV. You should not watch mobile phones all the day. For how many hour you have to just watch all the cartoons and mobile phones? Can anyone remember that? I told you. Yes, for how much time you have to watch? Only for one hour a day. That's it. not more than that you have to watch cartoons you have to watch mobile phones or whatever is favorite for you so you have to just watch for one hour for another day you have to take healthy meals and uh, finish your meals on the time you should help your parents and you should have a great time by doing various activities that mom is telling to you that you have to do at your home and utilize your time with that because i told you na if you do so you will be more confident when you come to school yes you will be more smarter you want to be smart you want to be a smart kid or not yes i i know you want to be okay uh, now i'll as if all the days i'll be telling i told you that i'll be telling you a new thing so before uh, introducing a uh, an, another new thing to you i'll be re- uh, i'll have a recap of all the things i have already told you like on first day i have told you to what i have told you i have told you to wash your hands properly i told you to wash your hands properly like how many how much how much time i have told you to wash your hands i have told you to wash your hand for 20 minutes a uh, 20 seconds i'm sorry 20 seconds how much time 20 seconds like you have to put your soap then you have to rub your hands over and uh, over and each other like that and then you have to rinse it away to make your hands clean the second thing i have told you to what what i have told you to trim your nails i have told you to trim your nails oftenly you should not let your nails grow and the dirt get in agar dirt andar jayega to kya hoga tell me what will happen your uh, all the dirt will get into your stomach when you will eat the food and you got a lot of diseases your stomach get upset yes or no yes it will get so So after this today, I'll be teaching you another new thing. Do you want to learn? And I hope that you are following these uh, things that I am telling to you. Yes. So you will be learning a new thing that uh, I know some of the students are not brushing your teeth every day. Yes. maybe sometime you are lazy maybe you are not in a mood or you tell your mama nahi mama aaj man nahi hai and all that yes you are doing that nahi no yes some of you might be doing that at home yes so uh, today i'll tell you that by brushing your teeth your teeth will be very healthy and if you brush your teeth every day so no cavity will get inside your tooth and your teeth a tooth teeth will be very healthy so how you have to brush your teeth you have to take each and every morning you have to take one uh, your brush then you have to take your paste then you have to apply some toothpaste on your brush and then you have to brush your teeth every day up and down round and round up down everywhere then you have to rinse your mouth then your mouth and your teeth will be clean okay so 
now the uh, point comes that how many times you have to brush your teeth do you know how many times you have to brush your teeth do you know no yes you have to brush your teeth twice a day how much time how many uh, how many times twice a day one in the morning and one before sleeping do you know why we do so because the things we eat the food we eat throughout the day get stuck into our teeth and if we don't brush before going to bed na it will create cavities inside the teeth so it will then your tooth will get hurt yes so do you want that no i don't think so you want that so you have to brush your teeth how many times a day yes two times a day how many times two times so now promise me you will brush your teeth two times a day how many times a day two times so now you have learned a new thing again today so now let's come to the revision of all the body parts we have done yes you have learned it yesterday yes or no yes i think you have learned it yesterday i really hope that you are revising all the lessons each and every day with your parents so now let's revise again this is her what is this this is her what is this this is her her head what it is her head what is this tell me what it is so this is her head repeat after ma'am her head another body part her hair what is her hair okay now let's take the next one this is a uh, you have done it yesterday yes a stands for which body part a uh, arms a uh, arms okay now it is done okay let's take another one this is b b brain where is brain it is inside your head b brain okay now it is done so this is a which uh, phonic sound is this this is a a eyes a ears a eyes a ears yes you remember that okay now the next one this is which phonic sound this is na which phonic sound is this na na nose na nose okay now let's take this this is ma which uh, which phonic sound stand for which uh, this phonic sound stands for which body part ma mouth ma mouth okay now this one t t stands for teeth t teeth t tongue t teeth t tongue okay now the next one this is l which phonic sound is this l and uh, you tell me now which body part starts with l l lips l stands for lips both your lips upper one also and the lower one also l lips repeat after ma'am l lips okay now the last one we have done yesterday this is f uh, which phonic sound is this f repeat after ma'am f f stands for what are they and twisting them what are they tell me these are f fingers f fingers okay so what do you do with your fingers you color you write you do a lot of activities with fingers yes f fingers okay now i hope you have done all the recap of all the body parts again with ma'am okay so have you also learned the rhyme also which i have done it uh, done with you yesterday have you learned that yes i think you have learned that so now let's revise it again today yes you want to revise it 
So now let's revise it once again. The parts of the body, the body parts on the parts of the body, the body parts on the parts of the body, the body parts on this is the body parts on. Forehead. These are my eyes, these are my ears, this is my nose, this is my mouth, this is my chin, this is my neck. The parts of the body, the body parts on the parts of the body, the body parts on the parts of the body, the body parts on this is the body parts on. This is my shoulder, this is my chest, this is my stomach, this is my elbow, this is my arm, this is my wrist, these are my fingers, five in each hand. The parts of the body, the body parts on, the parts of the body, the body parts on, the parts of the body, the body parts on. This is the body part song. This is my thigh. This is my knee. This is my calf. This is my ankle. This is my foot. These are my toes. Five in each foot. My body parts. The parts of the body. The body part song. The parts of the body. The body parts on the parts of the body. The body parts on this is the body parts on. This is the body parts on. So I hope you have enjoyed the rhyme and revised the rhyme very properly. So now, now I really hope that yes, you have learned this rhyme by heart. Yes, you are doing it every day. Yes, I know. And you have to repeat with ma'am and then you have to repeat it at home also. That's why ma'am is doing it with you each and every day. Okay, because... As ma'am told you that you have to repeat it every day and you have to learn it by heart. So that's why you have to repeat it, okay? And enjoy the rhyme again and again. So now, I hope you have learned all the things that I have already done. So now, I'll be telling you more body parts. So are you happy to learn? And I know you are very eager to learn also. Yes! You have learned all the body parts till now. I know you have. You are very happy and very enthusiastic to learn all these things. Yes. So now let's begin to learn more body parts. So now the teacher is showing more body parts. The first one is neck. N neck. What he is showing? N neck. Now, he's showing the leg. The leg. How many legs you have? We have two legs. How many legs? Two legs. The phonetic sound is the leg. Yes? You're doing it? Now, what he's showing? Showing his foot. F foot. What is the sound of foot? F foot. He's showing his foot. Now he's showing both his feet. We have two legs and we have two feet. So for feet. Repeat after my feet. Now he's showing his toe. He's showing his toe. The toe. The toe. Now he's showing his five and five ten toes. We have ten toes. The toes. So now let's have a recap. Ta, to, repeat after ma'am. Ta, to, we have two to. 
one in one leg and another in another leg we have two toe now these are toes you know the fingers of the uh, your legs your uh, feet is toes so the toes now this is a foot f foot what it is f foot repeat after me f foot the now what she showing she showing feet the two feet say f feet f feet now what he showing he showing l leg what she he is showing l leg we have two legs how many legs two legs l legs repeat after me l legs yes you walk with your legs you run with your legs yes you do okay now he is showing n neck what he is showing n neck okay so now i really hope that you have understood all the body parts we have done today yes you have understood the new body parts we have learned today and their phonetic sounds also yes you have learned the new body parts and their phonetic sound so again we have to do revision of that so that we can learn it by heart so what we all we have done today yes tell me first of all we have done today n neck what we have done today n neck what we have done n neck yes what is inside the neck we have throat through which we speak yes inside the neck we have a throat through which we speak okay after that we have done l legs what we have done beta l legs what do we do with the legs we stand with our legs yes we run with our legs we walk with our legs yes so l legs what we have done l legs okay we how many legs we have we have two legs what we have two legs l legs repeat after me l legs okay after that we have done f feet f feet what we have done f feet yes How many feet we have? Two feet. How many feet we have? Two. Yes. Repeat after me. F feet. F feet. So we have two legs. We have two feet. So then after that we have done t toe. What we have done? T toe. How many toes we have? We have two toe. We have two. to and yes after then we have done toes how many toes we have we have 10 toes we have 10 toes t toes what we have done t toes n neck l leg f feet f foot t toe and t toes these all body parts we have done today yes i hope you all understood all the body parts we have done yes do revise it at to your home with your parents and do revision daily yes i uh, when i'll meet you in school na i'll be you know asking you all the body parts again then you have to answer me yes so do revise all the body parts we have done day before yesterday and another day and today also okay so now i really hope that you have enjoyed the last rhyme yes you have enjoyed so i'll be teaching you another rhyme today again one rhyme today okay so i really hope that you have done the last rhyme with full voice modulation and actions 
Yes, you are enjoying that at your home. So now today we will be doing another rhyme. So do enjoy that rhyme and repeat the whole uh, rhyme and along with actions and voice modulation along with your parents. So at last I am sending you the rhyme. I really hope that you enjoyed the session and please recite the rhyme again with your parents. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.